Hello everyone, this is Epic 3D Builds here, and here are my Minecraft Steve, Alex, and this chest. To begin with, I'm going to start with Steve and Alex. I'm quite happy how they turned out. I tried to make them as in-game accurate as I could. So you can see I've put some, pa uh, I've matched the patterns on their shirts, and their legs, and their shoes and things, and their heads. When making these figures, I encountered some challenges. To begin with, I wanted to give these two figures the ability to hold items and tools right here. So I made this little indent with jagged lines. So you can see that matches the pixels of the weapons, tools and items. This was quite difficult to make because I had to make an ex exact measurements to fit the tools in. Um, after give or take, 0.1, 0.2mm, I finally got the correct measurements and now it works. Another challenge was that Steve and Alex are quite small compared to let's say the Iron Golem or the Warden here. I kept the Lego pins design and it works just about, at least for Steve because his arm is it's a little bit bigger than the size of a pin. So it just about fitted in there. Um, but for Alex, I had to improvise and I had to cut the Lego pins a bit to fit it in. For the legs, I just kept the same Lego axle design, but I had to cut it a bit. Another problem was that they were quite small, so some parts of them were quite delicate. For example, here, this his uh, Steve's hip here is very delicate. So when I tried to move his legs, his hip actually broke. So we had to glue it again. But now it's okay, and I just know now to be a little bit delicate when moving his legs. Now, what would Steve and Alex do without their tools? So here we have the Minecraft chest. I tried to make it as in-game accurate as I could, but I didn't really have the correct colours like they do in the game. So I improvised with this plank pattern with dark brown, and the base colour of this chest is this beige colour. I also added the black outlines as you can see here. Now if you open this, inside you can see there's a lot of tools and weapons in there. So I'm just going to get them out. Um, yes. So here we have the axe. Diamond axe. Here we have the bow. Here we have the diamond pickaxe. And the diamond sword. And we also have an iron sword in here. To begin with, I'm going to st talk about the bow, which was far the most difficult to build. As you can see, it looks just like it does in the game. So the problem with the bow was that it's quite large. It's larger than any other of the tools we have here. So it was difficult for Steve and Alex to hold it, because in the game, when they're shooting, the bow actually goes into their face. So I had to improvise and make this little handle here, as you can see. So now Steve wants to hold a bow, he, he can just place it, uh, the handle in his hand, just like that, and now he can shoot and practice his archery skills. Also Alex can too. Just like the same, um, it has the same measurements for, it, for her hand like Steve does. See, it works in both hands. So here we have the diamond sword. One of the most classic Minecraft weapons we have in the game. So for the diamond sword, it actually has this little piece right here. And it has a very short handle. So it's a bit difficult to make the figures hold it. Other Minecraft toys have improvised by extending the handle, but it doesn't look as in-game accurate as this. So instead, you can just slot it in right here, 
and, it, and now Alex and Steve can start slashing mobs. The iron sword works just the same. The next tool I'm going to talk about is the diamond pickaxe. This is probably the most classic Minecraft tool we have in Minecraft, as mining is a big part in Minecraft. So it just slots right here in the hand very easily and you can start mining now. Lastly, we have the diamond axe. So the diamond axe can be fitted just like the pickaxe right here in either one of their hands. And now Steve and Alex can now, uh, now Steve and Alex can chop wood to make a crafting table or something. So there, so those were the Minecraft tools painted up. Now I'm going to show you what they look like when they weren't painted up. So I can use all of these for different projects, but I just wanted to show you guys what they looked like before I painted them. So that's all, that's all I have for showing you guys. Now I'm going to move on to me on my free software, Fusion 360. Now. So here is Steve, Alex, Chess, and all the tools. This is their history. So at the beginning of a project, like I always do, I make the shapes of the limbs first, and then I start adding the details. As you can see, Steve's face, so it's easier to paint later. And then over here we have Alex. You see her face is a little bit different. Um, now I'm experimenting with the arms and trying to get the exact measurement um, to fit the sword and the pickaxe, as you can see. Now I'm just working on the places where I put the pins to get to get it to the exact measurement. Now I'm working on the axe in the background. Now I'm working on the chest. The chest was quite simple. Now the bow, the tricky one. So I was fiddling around quite a bit, trying to get the exact measurement. But I eventually did. That's it. I hope you guys liked the video. And I hope you guys also liked Steve, Alex and all the tools. And please like, subscribe and ring the bell. See you in the next video.